Well, I started with Vermeer in uh, 57 or 58, and uh, previously I'd worked at Maytag Company. Actually, it was a union company, and, and the union people thought I worked too hard. Uh, my dad started with Vermeer Corp uh, when I was two years old in 1959. There was no dealer network. There were no stores outside of Pella. Pella was uh, the center of the universe for Vermeer and everything, every activity, every sale, every service, so on and so forth, originated in Pella. Harry came to me and wanted me to go to California and run that store. And I, it was a pretty big task, I thought, but I thought, boy, I'd like to do it. I knew at that point what I wanted to do long term, but I knew California wasn't it. In 71, we moved to Eureka. I uh, had an opportunity to buy rolling machinery out in, uh, they were out of Springfield, Illinois. And that was when my dad started his first dealership. That was the first one that he had. From then on, it was like um, I needed a lot of help. On a handshake, they were willing to lend him money to start this business for himself. We'll help you if you need it. And I says, yeah, I need it. I need cash. They each loaned me $250,000. He absolutely refused to fail. That, that was not in his vocabulary. That was not an option. So we were going to find out, everyone was going to find out whatever it took to be successful. Everything was for Mayor. Every Saturday morning, we'd wake up. My mom and I would go out and clean the shop. You know, we got to do all the, the cleanup work and the the, the work nobody else wanted to do. Through high school, I uh, would work either after school, always on Saturdays, um, any holiday. One thing it did do was keep me actively involved in sports at the high school because if I was involved in a sport, I didn't have to go to work after school. When Junior bought the dealership in, in what was Batavia, Illinois, uh, he went up there and uh, he threw me the keys and said, uh, yeah, you're now the manager of, of Vermeer Central Illinois. I do think acquiring the Batavia store at the time was a big moment for him. Probably his next biggest after starting the store himself in Eureka. And so it's been, ups, business has been ups and downs. And uh, I look back and say that we survived that really uh, in fine shape. Uh, you know, we all face trials and, and tribulations and uh, uh, how we deal with them helps define who we are. So when we um, decided to put all the stores together, we were a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. Um, I, I really think that helped uh, build us to the point we're at today and, and that will enable us to go forward in the future. It's just like it's a part of you. I mean, you know, we, we it, eat, drink, and sleep Vermeer a lot. Junior always believed in adding quality people. If he found a good person, even if we didn't necessarily have a spot for them at that time, we added them, and that is a tremendous strength that we still have. And uh, that knowledge and understanding was invaluable for us to help grow the Midwest organization. He's the one that taught us how to do that. He would do anything it takes to, to try to satisfy customers and, and I think to be successful. Good people make it. Every day I think, holy cow, we're lucky. We've got a lot to be thankful for. <laughs>